ever wondered about the ancient temples that have stood the test of time, their histories and the legends that surround them? Let's journey back to the 12th century, to a temple nestled amidst verdant rice and paddy fields in the heart of Cambodia. Welcome to Bante Samri, located just off the city of Siem Reap. This temple is a testament to the architectural prowess of the Angkor period and stands as a symbol of Hinduism's profound impact on the region. Named after the Samris, a local ethnic group, Bante Samri translates to the citadel of the Samris. Majestically rising against the backdrop of the setting sun, the temple's elegantly carved towers, intricate bas-reliefs, and statues standing guard in the inner moat captivate all who visit. Its location within a local village adds to its charm, making it a must-visit destination for travel enthusiasts. Join us on this journey as we delve into the history, significance, architecture, and legends of Bante Samre. Constructed in the 12th century, Bantai Samre is a testament to the grandeur of the Angkorian era. This impressive temple serves as a window into the past, offering a glimpse into a time when the Khmer Empire was at the height of its power and influence. The temple's construction took place during the reigns of kings Suryavarman II and Yasovarman II, a period of significant architectural advancement and expansion in the empire. The name Bante Samre in the local Khmer language translates to the Citadel of the Samris. This name pays homage to the Samris, a local ethnic group that resided at the foot of the mountain, Phnom Kulin. This tribe was closely related to the Khmers, and their influence is evident in the temple's design and cultural significance. Bante Samre was dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu, a deity revered for his role as the preserver in the Hindu trinity. This dedication reflects the religious beliefs of the Khmer Empire during the 12th century, a time when Hinduism was the dominant religion. The temple's intricate carvings and sculptures depict scenes from Hindu mythology, further emphasizing its spiritual significance. Historians believe that Bante Samre was likely built by a high-ranking official, a common practice in the Khmer Kingdom. While this official's identity remains unknown, their contribution to the architectural landscape of the Angkorian era is undeniable. Despite the passage of centuries, Bante Samre continues to captivate visitors with its enduring beauty and intricate design. Bante Samre's history is as captivating as its architecture. From its construction during the Angkorian era to its dedication to Vishnu, Every aspect of the temple tells a story. It stands as a testament to the Samris, the local ethnic group after which it was named. This temple, named after the local ethnic group Samris, stands as a symbol of their heritage. Every ancient site has a story to tell, and Bante Samre is no exception. Amidst all the architectural grandeur and historical significance, there lies a tale that has been passed down from generation to generation. This is the legend of the cucumber farmer, a story that is as intriguing as it is unique. Picture this, a humble farmer in the verdant Cambodian countryside, growing cucumbers so delicious that they catch the attention of the local king. The king, so taken with the taste of these cucumbers, grants the farmer a rather unusual privilege, the right to slay anyone who dares to trespass his fields. One fateful night the king, craving the taste of these delectable cucumbers, ventures into the farmer's field. The farmer mistaking the king for a common thief, tragically kills him. With no heirs left to take the throne, the council hatches a plan. A royal elephant is tasked with selecting the next king. The elephant, guided by some unseen force, makes its way to the farmer's house and kneels before him. Despite the farmer's humble origins, he becomes the next king, an event that doesn't sit well with the high-ranking ministers. Feeling the weight of their scorn and unable to bear the humiliation, the farmer king abandons his palace. He finds solace in the remote Bante Sre temple, where he spends the rest of his days. This captivating tale is not just a legend, but a testament to the rich folklore of Cambodia. It's a story that weaves through the history of Bante Samre, adding a human touch to the stone carvings and ancient structures. It is a tale that has been passed down generations, a story that locals still hold dear to their hearts. This legend adds a layer of intrigue to the already fascinating history of Bante Samre. It's a reminder that these ancient stones are more than just relics of the past, they are carriers of stories, of histories untold, of lives lived long ago. Bante Samri is not just a temple, it's an architectural marvel. This ancient edifice, nestled amidst green rice and paddy fields, is a breathtaking spectacle of Khmer architectural brilliance. Its grandeur goes beyond the spiritual, inviting us all into a world of aesthetic delight. 
Let's delve into the structural wonders of this temple. Upon first glance, its design bears striking resemblances to the nearby Bante Sre and the iconic Angkor Wat temple. All three are flat structures, their horizontal nature in stark contrast to the vertical thrust of many other temples. This flat design is adorned with intricately carved lintels and bas reliefs, causeways and moats, and large, imposing temple towers. These features, combined with the temple's serene location, create a site that is both visually and spiritually captivating. Looking closer at the temple towers, we find them to be elegantly carved. Their intricate designs a testament to the skill and dedication of the artisans who crafted them. Each tower houses a chamber, connected to the main temple area via a small corridor. This unique feature is also found in other temples constructed by the same king, Suryavarman II, such as Tomanan and Chausei Tavoda, as well as the Angkor Wat. The libraries and galleries of Bante Samre are strategically placed around the central sanctuary, further enhancing the temple's architectural harmony. The symmetry of these structures lends a sense of balance to the temple, a quiet elegance that complements the grandeur of the towers. But Bante Samre is not just a replica of other temples. Historians believe that additions were made to the temple in the 15th century, modeling it on the style of the Bayon Temple. These additions suggest that the architects of Bante Samre were not only skilled craftsmen, but also innovative designers. They adopted sophisticated technologies to create the layouts, adding to the temple's complexity and beauty. The inscriptions found in the temple are predominantly focused on Hinduism, but some structures also contain Buddhist relics. This suggests that later additions were made by kings practicing Buddhism, introducing a blend of religious influences to the temple. This fusion of Hindu and Buddhist elements adds another layer of depth to Bante Samre's architectural narrative. The grandeur of Bante Samre is a testament to the architectural prowess of the Khmer Kingdom. Each carving, each tower, each hallway tells a story of a civilization that valued artistry, spirituality, and innovation. It stands as a majestic symbol of a bygone era, its beauty undiminished by time. So, the next time you find yourself in the charming city of Siem Reap, make sure to pay Bante Samre a visit. Explore its architectural marvels, soak in its spiritual ambiance, and let its ancient stones whisper tales of the glorious Khmer Kingdom into your ears. You will not just be visiting a temple, you will be stepping into a world of architectural grandeur and historical richness. The grandeur of Bante Samre is a testament to the architectural prowess of the Khmer Kingdom. Our journey through the history, architecture and legend of Bante Samre comes to an end. As we journeyed together, we delved into the vast ocean of history that surrounds this magnificent temple. From its creation in the 12th century under the reign of kings Suryavarman II and Yasavarman II, to its purpose as a dedicated space for the Hindu god Vishnu, Bante Samre has been a silent witness to the passage of time. Named after the Samres, a local ethnic group residing at the foot of Phnom Kulin, this temple has woven itself seamlessly into the fabric of local lore and culture. We also explored the temple's architectural splendor, a testament to the skills and vision of its creators. From the intricately carved lintels and bay reliefs to the grandeur of its temple towers, Bante Samre stands as a proud sibling to the neighboring Bante Sre and the iconic Angkor Wat. The temple's design, reminiscent of the works of Suryavarman II, gives us a glimpse into the artistic sensibilities of the era. And who could forget the captivating legend that surrounds Bante Samri? The tale of the humble cucumber farmer, who, through a twist of fate, became king, adds a layer of intrigue and charm to this already fascinating structure. It's a story that reminds us of the unpredictability of life and the power of humble beginnings. But the essence of Bante Samre isn't confined to its stone walls. It's in the green rice and paddy fields that surround it, in the local village that thrives in its shadow, and in the majestic views of the structure bathed in the golden hues of sunset. It's in the respect for tradition, as seen in the dress code that asks for reverence in the face of spiritual devotion. As we conclude, we hope this journey has sparked your interest and curiosity in the fascinating world of ancient temples and their stories. Whether you're a history buff, a travel enthusiast, or simply someone who appreciates beauty, Bante Samri offers a slice of the past that's tangible, mesmerizing, and undoubtedly worth the visit.